guys, things have finally slowed down a little bit, and so I decided what I would do with all that slow time is uh, just, you know, overwork myself and, and build a deck. <laughs> so uh, this is going to be a little bit of a long-form video on it, me kind of working it out. So stay tuned if you want to uh, see these shenanigans. So here's the reasons for the deck. Um, during the summer evening, this part of the house gets shade, this part of the guest house. Um, so we kind of like to sit here in the shade and have the fan on us and then we uh, let the kids swim in this uh, horse trough right over here. And so we'll kind of move that right in front of us and let them swim and that creates a better buffer between us and the road. Uh, also I found this uh, manhole cover, not the not the lid, but the uh, the casing, manhole casing. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in there, and it's going to be like a little flower planter, like a mum planter, you know, kind of reusing and trying to stay in the spirit of what we do at Gallup Gardens, which is, you know, make beautiful things and create a lot of life and, and do it on the cheap or repurposed, recycled, you know, all that kind of good stuff. Also probably going to weed this bed, might do a little quick uh, garden tour for y'all uh, it is 90% off on plants at ace right now and 70% off 76% off at the garden center in the valley look at these beautiful cabbages we need to we need to harvest this guy he is ready to go we need a weed too and spray for slugs because they are killing us probably the cabbage moth actually um, they have killed the collards so I'm just kind of mapping this thing out with my mind's eye. And what I got here is I got, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put that planter there. Somewhere right around here, I'm going to put a, a beam and I'm going to create a ramp that comes up. So a nice little ramp in case the, the next person that lives here is, you know, wheelchair bound or something like that. Or, you know, doesn't need a step. So it's nice and easy. Or for some of my kids can roll a skateboard down it and break their arm or something. Um, this is going to be the center beam right here. And then we're going to come on out here uh, a little further. And the idea is that we'll butt up pretty close to the beds on the property line. Also, I'm doing it all with uh, eight foot two by eights, untreated because that was the cheapest. And I'm going to treat them with tongue oil. So, got all kinds of good stuff going on. Okay, guys, so we've kind of piecing it together. You know, just cutting a little bit at a time. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start here, and I'm going to work my way this way. This right here is going to be the ramp, so four feet out. Uh, a thing of, that I'm doing so I don't have to really think too much or uh, overcomplicate it is I'm doing it in eight inches and eight feet, you know, roughly. So we got two by eights by eight feet, and they'll lay that way, two by eight by eight feet. Right, and this thing is double that, that's 16 feet. So uh, the whole thing is going in multiples of the uh, two by eight by eight. So should be should be pretty good. I like the way it's coming out. I think as long as I work my way that way to completion. And I'm gonna start here first and then work my way that way. And I think we're gonna be looking pretty good. So all I gotta do is rip these boards in half or, or not rip them, but cut them in half. Um, and then I'm going to lay the rest of these and then we should be good to go with the foundation and the rest is just putting two by eights in. All right guys, I'm getting too hot, uh, but let me show you what I did before we break for the day and then we'll tackle it tomorrow. So I got the foundation laid and then we just laid these on to just kind of get a good size here. So these are four feet back, this ramp here, haven't laid it yet. And then these are, you know, eight feet minus four inches or something like that. And then these are going to be a little shorter. Okay, then what I'm going to do, it's a lot shorter. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these off. I'm going to take that thing. It's heavy. I'm going to set it there. I'm going to draw a big circle. I'm going to try and cut it out with my Sawzall and see if it fits. And uh, tonight it's going to thunderstorm, so i got to put all these boards up because they haven't been treated except for the landscaping timbers. Uh, tomorrow morning I will uh, secure all of them so we've got a nice foundation 
then we'll treat the boards, cut the boards, treat the boards, lay the boards, and we should be good to go. I think we need 13 more boards. Hey guys, it's like 105 today, and we're on day two of the deck project. Several weeks later, uh, had a lot going on, but we're getting there. I'm going to uh, set this dude uh, into the deck. Okay, so the idea is that uh, I kind of tacked it down, and then I'm going to trace around it, and then I'm going to cut around it with the sawzall, and then I'm going to drop it in. Uh, well, I'm going to cut around with the sawzall, I'm going to drop it in, I'm going to build a little frame around it with these landscaping timbers, some scrap over here, and then I'm going to put the deck back down in place like a jigsaw puzzle. Um, but yeah, yeah, we got the frame tacked down. I'm going to go buy about 10 more boards, see where that leaves us. Uh, lay them down, and then we'll be good to go. So what I did was I took the Sawzall, well, I set it up there, I drew a stencil, cut it with the Sawzall. It's a little rough. Uh, then I'm going to pull the planks back up. Then I'm going to cut these scrap landscaping timbers, and I'm going to lay them down there and screw them all together to kind of make a mini frame so these boards can go back up on there. So it's just kind of uh, play by feel, you know, trial and error, but I think it's gonna work out pretty good. All right, guys, she's in. And she's pretty darn solid. We'll plant some mums or something cute in there, I guess. But, uh, you know, repurposing this old manhole I'm gonna go cool down for a minute, and I'm gonna come back and we'll finish these planks right here. All right, guys, it's the uh, end of the heat dome. Hopefully, last day, 104 today, and the deck's almost done. I uh, got a little chalk line to do a straight line, and we're just trimming up the edge here. And she's ready. You know, we got the flower pot set, um, got a little chairs up ready to rock and roll. Uh, we're about to hook up the inflatable and have a little bit of summer fun. All right guys she's all done look at that nice and clean. So now we've got a little back deck to go with our patio to go with our summer fun. <laughs> 